Well, it's Thursday, and now uh, me and Christine are back up at Rocky Mountain National Park, but man, it is so crowded today. Look at this, all the people lined up for the park. So we're gonna be painting at the visitor center today because even though we're at the visitor center, there's lots of stuff to paint. Wildlife. <laughs> and Long's Peak has had some clouds covering it here. They're just starting to come up, so I'm going to try drawing it. Can you tell we're in a parking lot? Now the clouds have finally lifted. Let's look, take a closer look here at what we're dealing with. This is the highest mountain in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's 14,000 feet plus high. And the tricky bit about mountain clouds is they're always moving so quickly. Because it's the, pretty much the most famous mountain in Rocky Mountain National Park, you kind of have to get it right. So, because thousands of people climb it every year, and every now and then people fly off of it. It's a very dangerous mountain, but very beautiful. I'm going to actually lighten this up and take off the heavy lines. So I take my eraser, and I'll just very lightly go like that because watercolor is so transparent, or at least the kind that I use. I don't use gouache. Uh, so you're going to see every mark and line underneath. So I want to make that as least amount of disruptive as possible. Okay, so this is lightened up. I don't think I'm even going to put any tree branches out here. I'm going to do that afterwards, once again, so you don't get all the lines and stuff. Okay, so once again, the clouds are moving every couple of minutes. I'm going to pick my sky color here. Since we're at high altitude, it's a deeper blue than it is down on the plains in our hometown. I'm gonna get some cobalt blue. And then get a tiny bit of ultramarine because that's the darker part component. And almost anywhere else, I wouldn't mix pure blue. Here it's going to be mostly blue because the sky is so clear. Maybe just a tiny touch of burnt sienna. Teeny weeny bit, just a little. Make a lot, make a huge pool of this. I think that's the biggest secret is to make sure you have a lot of paint to work with. A lot of people don't do that. So, big pool we have a lot to cover here this is going to be this is going to primarily be a cloud study today you don't want it too thin you don't want it wishy-washy i'll make the shadow color which can be any number of things i'm looking up here and there's going to be all kinds of things in that gray so maybe some a little bit of burnt sienna a little bit of english red there to make a nice neutral grayish tone. Add some more blue to that. We've got to make a decision now. So there was little clouds, now there's one big cloud. What do we want to go with? If you notice the cloud actually you know it's got three dimensions a lot of times you know when i was first doing this i didn't realize like oh it's not just white there's you know, all these shapes and things underneath it like that and that's where all the moisture is at the bottom so take this and let's see here and i just start see the side of the brush like that And it's at an angle. Sometimes it's almost too much of an angle. I can tilt it a little bit. 
Um, but you have to work fast because look how it's already drying. It's like, ah. Oh, and I forgot to put the water down. Ah! So, kind of put some water. See what I mean by chaos? <laughs> it's just chaos. And then what I do is I'll come back through with this and I'll start making some of those nubby shapes a little bit more in, like that. Let's see, just a little, well, it's still wet. And then I'll take these little bits out because yeah, they're all. Then put that clean water and I'll just kind of go back in and like soften some of the edges like because clouds don't all have super hard edges. See how it just kind of and then while that's doing that I'll go ahead and get my create my shadows and I'll start building that up. Oops, it needs more blue. Oh, and this is when I need to tilt it. It's too tilted. There we go. See how it just, just totally random. See, it's already drying. It's like, ah! Like just scrubbing kind of. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, scrubbing's helpful. When in doubt, you can scrub it. You know, you have to get good paper to do that, but, and now I'm realizing I could have. And it's hard to do with one hand. Mm -hmm. Could I persuade you? <laughs> or, like, if not, I just need to get my towel out. Because uh, what I do is I'll then come back in and start going like that. That makes sense. Okay. And see how those hard edges are still there. But you, you leave some. You don't, you don't get rid of all of them. But you don't want too, too many. Like that. See that? So, uh, the deeper shadows won't, won't look at that. It looks really dark, but it'll actually lighten up quite a bit. Like. <laughs> this is so, it's so dry today. One more bit of dark, right? There. But see what I mean? It's just totally, it looks very random. There's almost no, and then right under here where it meets, I'm going to make sure it's nice and damp. Okay, we'll see how that's starting to, might lighten that up a little bit. See how it's cooling too much? Yeah. I added too much water, so I just kind of get like that. But it's okay, you know, even if it's not perfect, it's... I'll just follow that line, like that. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. See? Easy peasy. Yeah. That's the sky. Okay, and this is still damp. I'm going to put in, even though this is still damp, I'm going to put in the mountains. Because there are some hard edges, but you can see the clouds are soft too. has a very specific shape. I want to get it right for all those mountain climbers out there that might be looking at this painting. Like, There's something terribly wrong, Laura. You didn't get that little ascent point right or <laughs> wherever they go on it. I'm gonna add a little extra snow on it because even though we're yeah, it has more snow than it normally does most years. Um, this looks better with a little more than just that one little divot. Go around that and I'll soften this here later just a little. Just kind of go with the 
the lay of the rocks here. Oops, tassels are getting stuck in there. Then I'll vary it between my shadow color here and my blue. And this is all under shadow right now, as you can see. We're not, I don't know if this is in focus. <laughs> Gotta work fast. I am taking way too much time now doing this. And see if there's an actual little bit of snow. I just leave it there because that looks good. And I'm gonna see how this is all dark because this is all under the shadow of the cloud. So I'm gonna make it lighter as I go down in value. Like that. And then we'll start adding a little bit of green, just a tiny bit. Look at that, it's dried over. Just a little bit, mix that in with the color there. Because I don't want it too green. So different this this week hearing all the <laughs> traffic versus the birds like <laughs> yeah it kind of affects my my painting mode just a little bit but that's okay this is still pretty still be it's being down where it's I mean 90 degrees or whatever huh okay we'll just very lightly blend that all together as you can see there's a bit of mossiness hopefully I'm not making this too green we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> this is going to dry a lot lighter. Okay. I don't know nothing. Aww. I'm just going to take a break. And I, I'm not going to go against my instincts and make this darker. Because, you know, you're looking at it and you're like, oh, it's so dark. But the thing is, we're at super high altitude, and the light, even in this nice deep shade of this parking lot tree, is going to throw this off. So I'd rather be a little too light than too dark. Now I'm going to do the foreground bit here. Make that a lighter... drying so fast. This is a terrible day for doing sky studies because it's way too dry. I mean, it really is. Do you know? <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard. So I'm just going to do some rough edges here. You have to make those sounds. That's, that's the most important part. <laughs> Those edges. There we go. I like a good clean edge, that's why I tape it. And this one here. Wow, this is so dry. This is even drier than last week. It's crazy. Trees. Just know there's trees there. Okay, and see that edge there? I'm gonna try to fix that with a bit of paper towel. I'm going to turn this off for a second. Okay, so that is the first layer. It dried so fast I couldn't even lighten these edges, so we'll, we'll just work with it. 
put this in the sun to dry like I do. Oh, that's fantastic. Pretty cheesy. That is curled up. Oh. And this is on hot press, which is a lot harder to do. It's beautiful. And wait, there's one. And she did <laughs> some studies of clouds. And how long have you been doing watercolor plein air? Mm, just this summer. Just this summer. So see? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I've never done this before. I have oils. Oils are easier, <laughs> sort of. Not really. Oh, you're doing great much easier to pack up and leave though. Let's go get lunch. <laughs> yeah. It's lunch 30 and I'm sick of these fumes. Yeah, the fumes are actually pretty harsh. 